Hi, my name is Angela Lane. I'm an impressionistic and caustic painter in Ontario. I just want to take a couple minutes and share with you a little bit about my practice and my inspiration. I like to say that my work is a reflection of my happy places. I love to spend out time, time outdoors uh, in my gardens, on the water, or hiking an Ontario trail. All of these are places that I can um, either quiet down, breathe deeply, and reflect or um, embrace um, the energy and power and get re-energized. Um, I do really believe that spending time in nature feeds a deep-rooted, um, joyful attitude of heart. And that's really what I'm trying to share in my work. I focus on the light and energy and color of, the, of a space or a place. So you'll see explosions of color like in this landscape here. Um, I do a lot of landscape work or maybe something that's a calmer, more serene composition like in Water's Edge here. Um, I think encaustic lends itself to this beautifully. It's a really warm, luminous, tactile medium. So you can, it's, um, for those of you who don't know, it's um, fusing layers and layers of pigmented beeswax. So I mostly use a heat gun to do that, uh, which like, who doesn't love that? That's so much fun. Um, but uh, I think the brilliance of encaustic work is that not only can you build this up and uh, create texture and add in mixed media elements, but you can also take away and reveal. So um, most often a painting, I don't actually know what it's going to end up like. I don't have a really fixed plan um, and it's not um, a specific, specific details aren't in there. It's more of a reflection of an overall environment and feeling that I'm portraying. Um, and it's just a wonderful journey. Um, the painting can take you on. So you can um, build up all these luminous layers. You can kind of etch away and take away and scrape away. And I think that's why I just fell in love with this tactile warm medium. Um, one of the things that I often do in my work is I might add some mixed media elements into it. So for example, a simple piece like this, where it's a simple composition where I've moved um, colors and pigments away to create a feeling, I might add in um, Indian ink little drawings like floral or trees or something like that. Um, another thing that I like to work with is barn wood. Um, so I buy wood from a gentleman who takes down barns of Ontario and um, repurpose these into my Happy Homes collection. Uh, so I might do encaustic work on that as well. So I'll leave elements of the uh, barn wood that I really love, like the original paint or nails or grommets in it um, or um, holes. And then I'll do encaustic work on it or I might actually end up doing little ink drawings on them of animals or floral or trees. Uh, so that's another thing that I like to do. Um, I just love playing with the medium and um, these sort of reclaimed um, elements um, that you can find in the environment. Um, uh, thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me and getting to know me a little bit. Um, I hope that you're able to find a little piece of happiness uh, for your own home. Um, if you see something online that you really love of mine but it's not the right size or doesn't use the color elements that you really like, um, please reach out to me. I have a zero risk com commission policy which means I'll work with you to create a piece that's right for you um, but there's absolutely no um, obligation to purchase the piece at the end of that process at all. Um, you can follow me and learn a little bit more about me uh, through Instagram and Facebook. It's an, at Angela Lane Studio. Um, so hopefully we can connect there. And also I have a website. You can sign up for my newsletter that I send out monthly. It's AngelaLaneStudio.com. And if you sign up now, you can be entered into a contest to win a piece of art. So hopefully we can connect there and we can continue this journey. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.